yeah hello all welcome back so in the previous session we have gone through how to create the access sequence and how can we place the condition tables in the access sequence right mm -hmm. so in this class we will create the condition type okay okay so i will let you know how can we create the condition type and how can we assign the access sequence so here okay. let me go through the path to create the condition type mm. the path here is we have to go through spro then scp reference img mm. then here sales and distribution mm. then to the basic functions here mm. pricing and price control here you can see define condition types you okay. have to click on it okay okay then here you can see maintain condition types okay so if you click on that this page will get open mm -hmm. okay and you can also go through the transaction which is nothing but b slash 06 mm -hmm. okay so if you open that transaction b slash 06 then also mm -hmm. the same page will get open Okay. Okay. See here. If you go to the position here, and if you see the standard one P R double zero, nothing but the base price here. Mm. See, you can see the condition type is P R double zero. Mm. And if you double click on it, then you can see what is the access sequence assigned to the condition type here. Mm. So now what we have to do is, let me take P R double zero. and let me copy it and here i would like to create a new condition type for which i would like to give the name as mr00 okay okay and the name for it is nothing but base price mm. so here see the condition type we haven't created somewhere here now we are creating it and for which i have given the naming convention as mr00 okay okay and here you have mm. to give the access sequence which was already created what mm. is the access sequence we have already created which is nothing but mr01 mm. so now click on enter see mm. here you can able to see the new entry the condition type mr00 got created now okay. we have to save it Mm. then it will be saved in customizing request mm. okay and the access sequence configuration as well as the condition table configuration will be saved in the workbench request i already have mm. told you the difference between workbench request and customizing request right okay okay see mm. now if you double click on the mr00 condition type here you can mm. able to see many controls right Yeah. So I will take a separate session yeah. to explain each and every control here. Uh, condition type controls. Okay. Okay. But for now, yeah. I just have created the condition type to let you know how can we create and how can we place them into the pricing procedure. Yeah. Okay. So hope you are clear with this session. And if you have any queries, right. you can ask me now. Okay. No worries. Okay then thank you